Hey guys, things have been crazy with this quarantine. My kids have been sick. Luckily, they are they are okay now, but they did have fevers. They still have slight coughs. I don't think it was the virus, but anyways, things have been nuts. I've been home. My husband's been working insane hours because he's essential. It's just, it's been a mess. But one thing I have done is watched several videos or several movies, I should say. If you follow me on Twitter, I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. You hopefully been part of the watch alongs i was watching them and live tweeting them with you guys a couple of movies so over the next few hours days maybe i'll schedule them out since i haven't been able to do a lot of videos for you guys um i'm gonna be bringing you some movie reviews so that's exciting yay first up is gonna be for the hunt so let me tell you what i thought of the hunt hey tessa from mama's geeky here thank you so much for stopping by my youtube channel so, first of all, I had heard that The Hunt was going to be super political, um, and, and it seemed that way, too, even in the trailers you hear them, like, even in the trailers you hear them saying words like liberals and stuff like that, so, but it really wasn't as political as I expected it to be, in all honesty. Um, it was there, of course, but it didn't, like, take over the whole plot for me. This movie was crazy pants, like, from beginning to end, from the very beginning, it started off hardcore and just went all the way through to the end. I've told you guys time and time and time again, I love crazy, random, weird deaths in movies. It's like one of my favorite things. That's why Final Destination is one of my favorite movies. I love off-the-wall, gory, gross stuff. I just do. I don't know. That's why I love Brightburn as well. It's I have problems, maybe, but I do. And The Hunt delivered on that. There was some crazy deaths. You start off with this really great cast. You've got people um, like Justin Hartley and um, the girl from American Horror Story. Her name is escaping me right now, but people like that all in there. And then like, it's not really a spoiler because it happens within like five, 10 minutes. They're all, they all die. And you're like, what is going on? This is crazy. These are people I expected to see this entire movie and they're in here for five seconds, um, which just made this movie more and more interesting for me, more amazing. Um, I loved it. There's some um, incredible fight scenes. There's an adorable pig. And I've always wanted a pig, so that part was exciting, although it wasn't too exciting later on, but I'm not going to try. I'm trying not to spoil things, but I'll tell you what. I've always wanted a pig for a pet. I've always wanted a pig for a pet, and Orwell, who is the pig in here, is absolutely adorable. Uh, but yeah, the movie, I just really enjoyed it. I was thoroughly entertained from beginning to end. Is it a perfect movie? No. Is it a make-you-think movie? Not really. It's just kind of a fun movie to sit down and watch, uh, especially while you're stuck at home. Check it out. You can rent it now. I think it's $19.99 on um, all sorts of digital platforms. I rented mine over on Amazon. But, um, yeah, it's definitely worth a watch, especially if you like crazy, weird, off-the-wall stuff. And then there's, like, sort of a twist towards the end. It's not really a twist, but it's kind of a twist. Um, and I really liked it. And you're going to come out. Listen, make yourself a grilled cheese. Have the stuff in your house for grilled cheese because I tell you, at the end, you're going to want a grilled cheese. I sure did. That's what I thought about the movie. If you've seen it, you let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Um, you don't want to miss out on videos like this. I promise I'm going to be bringing you more videos. I'm starting to find the new normal. I'm starting to find my um, groove, so to speak, uh, <laughs> in quarantine. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get you guys some awesome videos up. Stay tuned. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like I said, and thumbs up, all that fun stuff. Comment below. Tell me what you thought. And thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. Bye.